let's talk about storage sizes or file sizes, I guess, um, a little bit more accurate. So before we do, let's get a little bit of perspective on file sizes in general. So you have, really you have bytes. It starts at bytes or bits, I guess you can go back that far, but let's just say, let's deal with bytes for now. So you have kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and then terabytes. And this is the typical uh, sizes that we deal with today. So one kilobyte is 1,024 bytes. Now, for our purposes, let's just consider this 1,000 bytes. So one kilobyte is 1,000 bytes. This is a small file size, okay? So when we're talk talking about kilobytes, uh, really manageable files, definitely dealing with email, anything under 1,000 kilobytes, not a problem. We can send that without any issue. So a kilobyte is a small unit. Um, and then the next step up would be a, a megabyte. So one megabyte is a thousand kilobytes. And now we're getting a little bit bigger. I mean, when we're talking about megabytes, these might be typical file sizes for larger Word documents, documents with a lot of pictures in them, potentially some pictures. Um, this is when we start dealing with, with megabytes. Then we have a gigabyte. And a gigabyte is simply a thousand megabytes. Gigabyte, now we're getting into larger file size or, or larger size in general. So a gigabyte could be something that is used to measure the amount of space on, let's say, a flash drive that you bought at uh, your local electronics store. Uh, or it could be used even for hard drives, 500 gigabytes, 1,000 gigabytes, this type of thing. So a gigabyte, definitely if you had a file that was a gigabyte, you're probably going to be dealing with video files, these types of things. Um, and they're very large, now, let's say not suitable, obviously, for sending by email and, and, and so on. And then the last unit we ha you have that we will talk about um, is a terabyte, and a one terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. And this is now getting more typical for hard drives, uh, external hard drives, <clears throat> your computer storage, that type of thing. Um, typical files that you're going to find as a terabyte are very far and few between. Um, most of the time we're using a terabyte to refer to a storage size. So this gives you a little bit of perspective. Let's hop back in to uh, our computer here for a minute. I want to show you how you can find out how big a file is. So I have a couple different files here. We got some pictures, a Photoshop file, and a movie. So if I wanted to know how big, let's say, this keyboard JPEG was, if you right click, you can choose properties. And in your properties, you're going to get a file size here. So I can see that this is, at my size on disk, let's say, is 112 KB kilobytes. That is a small file, okay? Very manageable, uh, <clears throat> really small, suitable for email, suitable to post on the web, which is actually where it came from. Um, and let's look at another one. So let's say I wanted to check this movie. I'm gonna right click, go to properties. And this one's 66 megabytes, which would be, of course, 6,600 kilobytes. So we can use, I'm sorry, 66,000 kilobytes, my apologies. So we can use right click and properties to determine how big something is. We can even do this with folders. So let's, I'm gonna right click on my videos folder here and choose properties. And you can see this is 13.6 gigabytes. So now we're getting a little bit bigger. So you can check file size to determine if something's gonna be suitable to copy to, let's say an external hard drive or a USB flash disk. Or we could even check and see how big a file is before we attach to an email because we want to keep those email attachments down a little bit so the emails are manageable, it doesn't clog up the other person's inbox, and they send it with a reasonable amount of time. So there you have it. There's some perspective on file size.